Kohei Aloha. Welcome back to another episode of Aloha Cooking with Later. So, grab your pen and paper and start taking a note of this new recipe. And follow me to the kitchen. Alright, today's recipe is a delicious Hawaiian food and that's called Huli Huli Moa, or a chicken breast here. You put it down here after it's been washed and cleaned. And same thing with your hands. What you do, you boil the chicken. You take one of the, some of these chicken that they have bones and uh, boil it and make use that to use the broth, okay? But then you have the chicken breast itself, you cut it away and then you have this raw chicken breast and all you have to do is just pound it several times with a tenderizer, like that. Once it's tenderized, take a bowl and put it inside the bowl. Now the ingredients, as I said, you can add three breasts or four breasts, it doesn't matter. And uh, right now I'm just going to use one. And then these are the ingredients that goes into this huli huli moa or huli huli chicken. I'll use the chicken broth, okay? How much? You can use about a cup of that. See, that's the chicken that bones everything I cooked and that's the best way. And then I remove all the fat that you don't need. Then you use half a cup of cold Hawaiian pineapple juice. Alright? And then you put about a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'll just use a little bit here by the quarter. And the next ingredient that goes here, we call it the liquid aloha or better known as beer. And the kind of beer that I use is, uh, you can see it's long board, that's Hawaiian, pure Hawaiian. It's made in Eastern Oahu. So when you come to Hawaii, Oahu, try this long board. It's very good beer. So I use the liquid aloha, which is the, as I said, it's the beer. And just stir it a little bit and let the chicken soak in it. Now, we're gonna put some seasoning here for the condiments. I'm putting about a quarter of teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, that's enough because you don't want to start crying or burning yourself. All right, and then I use several cloves of garlic. Three, four, five doesn't matter. The more the better. And then about one tablespoon or two, not more than that, of crushed ginger. I always use fresh, unless you have no access to it. You know, then you, you can use uh, dried ones. But if it's fresh, it's much better. Now you put that one, and then you put salt. How much? About half a teaspoon is good enough. And the last thing goes into this marination, folks, is going to be lime. Now remember last time in my show I told you how to get the juice separated from the flesh. So you just give it a little bit of massage or lomi lomi as we say in Hawaii. Lomi lomi lomi, let massage it. And that will separate the juice. You cut it. Now with just a little bit of pressure, the juice just pours out easily. And that's the last thing goes into this. It's the marinated uh, moa or the hulihuli chicken. And it's been marinated. I put it in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. And it is now ready to be grilled. Now, when the weather doesn't permit and it's going to be raining like right now, I can't stop the rain. And guess what? The rain can't stop me. So I bring the grill indoor. And for indoor, to be safe, it's better to use electric grill. So my grill is pretty good. practice. My hulihuli moa. Or the moon, which you can put it in this liquid grill or indoor. You can see how nicely it's been marinated 24 hours and all those good, delicious ingredients and seasonings. And what I'll do, I'll just put the, the lid on the top and I'll be monitoring the gates here. And I can tell, like, I'm about 10 15 minutes on each side just to keep you know, turning it back and forth so you don't want to get too dry. You want it to be done, but not too dry. So we're going to leave that here and I'll get uh, to the recipe for the rest of the food that goes with this. Okay, with this uh, huli huli chicken or huli huli moa goes the sticky rice. And in Hawaii, they would love to use the sticky rice in regular white rice. But as I said in my cooking show, I always tell you about the healthy way to eat it. So I use brown rice. For one cup of brown rice, I use one and a half cup of water. Just put it in the slow cooking pot and put the rice in the water, a little bit of salt and some oil, maybe like two three or three tablespoons of oil. And cover it with the rice with the huli huli mo or the huli huli chicken goes salad. Along the rice, you know, goes on the side, but you gotta have salad too, okay? So my salad I make it my way and this is what goes in the salad. I'm using about one or two, maybe three if you want. There's no harm tomatoes. Just put the next thing goes in there. And it's gonna be cucumbers. I kind of dice them, you know, and chop it into a cucumber, whole cucumber, you know, but, but, you know, this regular sized cucumber grown in the garden, that's even better. And I cut it into cubes and add it to the salad bowl. And then I have one whole onion. Olive onions are the best, you know that, huh? And uh, 
they grow all over the island, but now we have to find onions. And you add about one chopped onion. Next, the third thing goes in. Then, what I'm going to add is chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, it's not my problem, it's your problem. But you have an option, you can go with parsley. So I like cilantro, I'm going to add cilantro. And the next ingredient is going to be chopped, or you know, just slice them into little pieces of avocado. And this is going to be a delicious salad. Just mix them up, and then a little bit of salt and pepper to your taste. I put a little bit of salt and pepper. And then what I do, I add good old virgin olive oil. And this is Mediterranean olive oil, and it's very good. And you have a choice. You can use lime, which is very good, or you can use an apple cider vinegar. So I use apple cider vinegar, and then all you have to do is just mix them up really good. And you get yourself a nice, clean, healthy salad. Okay, folks, come on, get it. The dinner is ready. Holy holy moa, or holy holy chicken. Let's go to the grill and let's pick it up. This is, remember, this is electric indoor. When the weather doesn't permit, it's raining, let it rain. The rain won't stop me. So here's one of the huli huli chicken or moa with two scoops of sticky brown rice. Okay, that's a good, healthy, nutritional brown rice. And then we're gonna add some of this delicious salad that I showed you how to make it. One and two scoops of this uh, huli moa or huli huli chicken is ready to be eaten. Grab your spoon and pour it in knife butter. Just dig in it. Go ahead. Watch my wife grabbing it. Ah, before I was eating it, getting ready to eat, she grabbed it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you something else that goes after the meal, or you can even have it with your meal. But I personally prefer it as a dessert, and it helps down, it helps to break down the food and the enzymes and minerals that's in this rich root. Uh, they call it taro. Taro is a Polynesian plant, grows all along, uh, mostly the tropical area. And it looks like, you know, there are different kinds, depends on the size, but this root, you know, it varies from this color to a darker brown and a little bit more bigger like a ball. And they have huge green leaves. And believe it or not, those leaves are rich with mag magnesium and they have copper, iron, phosphorus, calcium, you name it. But this, you, you have to boil it and make sure you cook it because if you cannot touch it and eat it raw because it has calcium oxalate and that's deadly. So once you boil it, that toxic is released and dissipates. Then once, once it's boiled, it gets very soft, you take the skin off and then you just put it in a bowl and stir it itself. And you just like what I've done here, you just keep mashing it, right? You see it's kind of pinkish color? That's because of all the minerals and the vitamins it has, rich in vitamin C, as I told you, a lot of minerals. Now, here's the problem. Poi, foi. A lot of howlies. Howlies here in Hawaii means like whoever comes to the island is the newcomer or foreigner. We call them howly. It's no insult, it just means foreign. But there's an old saying in Hawaii that the priest asks in a church to some of the newcomers to the island if you had a choice between poi, or some people call it foi because of strong taste, and the medicine. Which one would you take people say? Medicine. So, <laughs> poi is something that everybody can develop a taste and you gotta grow up like the root, grow up with the root and the island and it's part of the meal. But what I have done, I have added some special ingredients that makes it very edible and it will be approved by all of the houses. All right, so in goes the delicious fruits, tropical fruits. Here goes the pineapple. Bye bye pineapple. Hello mango. Bye bye mango. Now, what's next? The woman go? No, woman stay. Let the mango. <laughs> next one is coconut milk. Put it in there. And then add, as I said, it's up to you. Some people like sweet. I put about two tablespoons of honey. Let's start the blender. That boy is good. Now anybody can eat it. I don't care from what part of the world. No excuse and no more of that point. It's point. Okay, let's eat it. And I'll put another. And top it off with more poi. Don't be shy or poi, just add more. Hello, hello, folks. Thanks for subscribing to this uh, fun, entertaining show with delicious recipes each time. Every episode I surprise you with different, very healthy dishes and uh, Polynesian style. And of course, international, all of you, with the right things for Polynesian. So to your health until the next episode, God bless all of you, I'm all of you, all of us stay healed for the next episode. God bless you, to your health.